The last time we saw this narco sub, it had just been caught. Fresh from its treacherous journey across the Atlantic Ocean from South America, where it was built in the jungle, to Spain, where it was found filled with three tons of high-grade cocaine. That was in 2019, and everyone wanted to have a better look at it then, especially the inside. So here we are. The sub was on the move again this week, although by land rather than sea, and we finally get a better look at it, a lot drier, but empty of its cargo. The mob reporter here with the latest news on a remarkable vessel that made an incredible journey, making its way into the history books as the first narco sub from South America ever seized in European waters. Let me tell you about it. Now, if you're new to this amazing story, you need to know that a narco sub is a submarine, or more commonly a semi-submersible, built in secret in remote areas of South America, where coke is made, and then tries to sneak that product into a country where it will be sold. Riding below the waves, or very low to the surface, they blend in with the ocean so well, they are extremely hard to find. Usually they're used to shuttle the goods north to the United States. But this one was found in Europe, a trip of almost 4,000 miles in a rickety homemade vessel. It's like traveling the ocean in a tin can. Imagine being in it. The sub started its journey in Guyana, in South America, where it was constructed in the jungle at the behest of the Narcos, before loading up in Colombia and setting sail. Spanish authorities think bad weather prevented its cargo from being offloaded from the sub onto a ship off the coast, and then forced the sub to seek calmer waters closer to shore. It was spotted by an aircraft with night vision equipment on Spain's Galician coast. It's an area notorious for smuggling because of its many secluded coves and curving coastline. It's an area that's become a major entry point to Europe of Colombian cocaine, especially after a crackdown in ports in southern Italy, where the Mafia held significant influence and control. Now this 72-foot sub was towed to port and examined, its contents removed, analyzed, tested, and its journey traced. Now flash forward to this week. Early in the morning of February 3rd, 2021, the narco sub started its final journey. Strapped to a transport truck and escorted by two police patrols, it was driven from the port in Pontevedra, near where it was found, and hauled 320 miles inland to its new home in Avila, an hour's drive outside the Spanish capital of Madrid. This, however, did not happen without controversy. You see, seizing the narco sub was a joint operation, largely between the country's two national police agencies, the Policia Nacional and the Guardia Civil. The Policia Nacional, translated simply as the National Police, is a civilian agency, and the Guardia Civil, which translates as the Civil Guard, has a military status although both of them are under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of the Interior. They have similar mandates, which can bring awkward competition, especially when they overlap, and both of them wanted the narco sub as their trophy. Whatever negotiations happened in the background over the past 15 months, I'll likely never know. Personally, I hope the top-ranking officer from each had an arm wrestling contest, or maybe a game of chess. In any event, the decision was finally made to turn it over to the National Police. The National Police is the primary agency for handling cooperation with other law enforcement agencies in other countries. And since the whole operation targeting the narco sub started with a tip from abroad, likely the United States, that may have been the deciding factor. And so it was assigned to a Policia Nacional training school. Once at its new home, as curious onlookers gawked, two cranes were used to hoist it to the parking lot tarmac. It will remain there for a while, on display, as a magnificent trophy. I can't help but thinking that after such a long, arduous, and crazy journey, that it's something of a sad ending for this beast. To be left in a parking lot, with officers taking selfies with it. I'll leave links to my original video on the discovery of this sub here, and in the description down below. I'll also put a link in to my all-time most viral video, which is also about a narco sub. Thanks for watching.